Did you know that Kubernetes can scale your apps, your pods, and your cluster automatically? When your app gets busy, the horizontal pod autoscaler checks a metric that you define, like CPU or traffic, and if it crosses the threshold, it instantly spins up more replicas. And when the demand drops, it scales them back down. This is known as a horizontal pod autoscaling. When we create a pod, we define how much memory and CPU it should consume. This helps Kubernetes to place it on a suitable node and prevent unexpected termination. But workloads change over time. Vertical pod autoscaler watches usage over time and automatically updates the resource request so the pod is not evicted unnecessarily. But we do have one more thing. And if the cluster runs out of space and pods can't be scheduled, the cluster autoscaler steps in. It adds new nodes when the cluster needs more capacity and removes them when the demand drops. With vertical pod autoscaler, horizontal pod autoscaler, and cluster autoscaler working together, Kubernetes makes sure your app always has the right amount of power without you lifting a finger.